That's the ship right there. What is going on guys, it's Toby here, and today we're on a cruise in the Galapagos, so check this out. This is actually pretty crazy. We're on a 10 day cruise here, and then we go back home. But today we're gonna be doing some deep water snorkeling, and then tomorrow we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of activities like beach walks and seeing the nature and all that type of stuff, and I'm gonna take you guys along on this vacation. So we are going snorkeling right now. I'm gonna grab the GoPro and that type of stuff. They say deep water, but I'm not really sure what that means, cause like they kinda exaggerate stuff here with the older people on this cruise line but the opening clip that you saw was what the ship looked like I need to get some closer pictures definitely because it doesn't do it justice from that distance and overall this cruise is really cool I'll take you guys to dinner and basically through all the activities so I'm pretty much all set to go okay it's the last tender we're going now come on a rush mom yes <laughs> but we're about to go apparently I've made everyone late again right mom absolutely this right here is the area where we get all of our stuff before we go on the actual tender and then we'll be snorkeling. LJ? <laughs> There's nothing difficult about this mob. <laughs> Friggin' snorkels dog crap. I have to stay on. It won't stay on. Like it literally will not stay off. You did it yourself. How do I do it? What won't stay on? Your snorkel? No, my strap. I'm all set to go. Has a little bit of a flop with the snorkel. My goggles are fogging like crazy. So I think I either lost all of my lung capacity because I used to be able to bottom out at 70 or it's the fact that I have no weight and I'm trying to float like crazy with this wetsuit. So this wetsuit keeps pushing me up and I literally cannot go down more than 20 feet right now. So it's kind of crazy, but yeah, it is what it is. I also don't have a weight belt and these fins are super, super short. So it's like really hard to actually get down there. The belt is going down again. I just saw. Do you see the turtle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You saw that? The sea lion? It just doesn't fit me or something, I don't know. Because like, I was leaking water the entire time. Good. So what you're seeing right here are some clips that my sister recorded on a separate excursion. It was a completely different day, completely different spot. This is what was really cool about this whole trip is that every day they took you to a new island of the Galapagos. So she saw some turtles and she also saw a seal that swam right up next to her. Check it out. It says 
celebrity flora. But we're getting off now and we'll get some lunch. I'm not supposed to have the camera out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. You know that's what they do with the camera? LJ. <laughs> that's pretty cool. These dolphins came out and they're jumping right next to the ship. Where'd they go? Oh, they're over there. So I was chilling in my mom's room for a second right before we get lunch. They're actually up there right now and waiting on me, but I wanted to do a quick little room tour and then we'll go to my room. So my room looks exactly the same. You have the TV, you have this right here. And then obviously you have this amazing view of the Galapagos. Like you literally are just chilling here, looking outside of the cruise ship. Then you could actually put this down too. So that's pretty cool. Like the window slides all the way down. So at night when the ship is rocking like crazy, and I gotta show that. You can actually like listen to the waves and that type of stuff. But as I was saying, like the ship rocks like crazy. So it'll go up and down. And if you're taking a shower, like you're literally stumbling all over the place. And if you leave water in the sink, you can see it like sloshing back and forth. So I'm definitely gonna show that. But anyways, getting back on topic to the room tour, you have the bed right here. My sister and I have like twin beds. So that's the only difference between the two rooms. And then this is the bathroom. So super, super nice. If I walk in here, I can squeeze between the door. This is what it looks like. Toilet right there, shower, and then obviously the sink. So I'm gonna put some water in the sink when the boat is rocking like crazy and I'll record it. Once again, this is just like a basic overview of the room. So it's super, super nice, but I need to get to mine, take a shower and get ready for lunch now. So let's go. This is the hallway leading to it. Just in case if you guys are wondering what this looks like. So the ship is super nice. I think they just built it in 2019. Hello. I wanted to show a little bit of this ship as well. I don't want to scream because there are like people everywhere, but it's not that big of a ship. There's only like, I guess, five floors, including the third floor. And uh, the staircases are not that big as well. So I think there are only like 80 people. No, not even like 50 people on this ship at max. It's not like one of those huge Royal Caribbean ships. We already had lunch and everything, but now we're doing some like beach kayak thing with a walk. So I'll just take you guys along with it and we'll see how it turns out. But I mean, it's pretty cool. Every island here in the Galapagos is completely different. So none of them are the same. And we've been doing a bunch of beach walks. Next in place for the sea turtle. You can see over there the different depressions. See all of this hole? So this is one of the places also they lay the eggs, but it's not many you know, places here where they can lay the eggs because we have many vegetation. But also we can find some sister or something here. We left the beach, now we're doing some kayaking and my mom and Miriam were supposed to come and I kept saying, they're gonna be the first ones to be in the water and they were the first ones. Yeah, I kind of jinxed it. They were the first ones in the water, but we're gonna do a little bit of kayaking and then I think we're gonna go to dinner. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> can you even see it in the water? Or no? Oh my God. Oh, coming right up to us. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is honestly so cool. I'm, I'm glad I brought the iPhone because <laughs> the sea lion's jumping everywhere on this kayak ride. Where is it? Go back under? Oh, he's right there. Oh. Where? <laughs> they're not fighting. What are you talking about? No, they're playing with a piece of wood. Right there, there's sea lions everywhere in here. It's like a sea lion cove. Let's see if they'll come up to us, but I'll wait. They're right there, look. I think we're almost done with this, but there are more sea lions right here. Obviously we're back from the kayaking. I had a fantastic time, but I wanted to do like a brief little ship tour. So I'm gonna go around showing everything. I was saying earlier, the ship isn't very big. So it's only like eight floors or so, only 80 people, but they have a pool back there. And like, this is the staircase. And this is a restaurant that you can eat at at night and look up at the stars. Go down these steps real quick. We can go to the discovery lounge for basically chill and stuff. That's in there. I don't wanna go in there cause there's like a whole bunch of people in there. I'm not trying to disturb them. But this is the back of the ship with a heated jacuzzi or a heated pool right there. And yeah, it's pretty dope, honestly. You gotta peek my head in here. But we're probably gonna go to dinner soon. I gotta grind out some TikToks, edit up a YouTube video, go to the gym. Because I do have a gym here. It's really small, but it is what it is. So I'm probably gonna catch you all when we go to dinner. 
So we're at dinner right now. I went with some pasta, but the boat is rocking like crazy. LJ, are you gonna completely vomit everywhere? <laughs> no, I gotta show this though, it's crazy. I'll put some water in the sink to show how much it's rocking because you can't really see it on camera unless you do that. I don't think the boat is rocking that much. Never mind. I just stumbled all over the place, but I'm gonna try and show you all what it looks like on the outside. Oh yeah, it's definitely rocking. I'm almost falling like <laughs> twice now in a row, but yeah, I don't know if you can see anything. Can't really hear the waves crashing that much. I think this boat just rocks inherently a lot because it's not that big. If we were on like a bigger cruise ship, I don't think it would rock at all. But last night I was sleeping and I just felt like the entire bed lift on one side and I almost fell off the bed. So it was definitely rocking a lot worse but it's not that bad tonight. And you know what's funny? They said it was gonna be bad, like the worst tonight, but I mean, that's opposite from the truth. I'm just about to head to bed. I don't wanna to be too loud because I know my sister is sleeping. But this is what I was talking about with the water moving back and forth. So I filled it up with some water just to show how much this boat is rocking. So you can literally see it go back and forth because like there's no other way to show it. Boom, just like that, it's the next day. And I think we're gonna be doing another beach walk or something like that. But it looks absolutely beautiful outside. The water is super blue and we might go snorkeling again. Now, if we go snorkeling again, I am going to bring the GoPro. Maybe we'll see something cool like a huge shark or something like that. Besides the sea lions that I saw last time, that was really cool too. But we're going to go ahead and jump on the tender right now and I'll catch you all out there. Mom, are you taking a picture with the tortoise? Or no. It was on this side. Are you going? Just got back to the ship. We're about to head to dinner. I didn't record any of the snorkeling because it wasn't like, couldn't see anything. So it wasn't worth it at all. But look at this insane sunset here on the ship. So this is the best part about the cruise. Like you're just chilling, watching all this stuff happen, doing all these activities every day and then you get these crazy sunsets. I would go up top, but I gotta take a shower to get to dinner. Honestly, I thought I was gonna end the vlog, but I wanted to add a little bit more because I think tomorrow is gonna be the coolest part of the trip. So we're going to some sort of island with the tenders once again, and we're gonna be seeing a bunch of tortoises all over the place. So I will catch you all tomorrow morning, and we're gonna add this to the vlog. It's something you wouldn't wanna miss. We're on the next excursion here and we're planting trees. So I'm gonna film my sister doing it. This is pretty cool, literally in the middle of the jungle. And I have an eco-friendly business. This is my thing. Good job, guys. <laughs> I, I sell tags with seeds in them so you can make your own trees at home. Well, Every one of my shirts, the, the tag has a seed. We'll drop the link in the description for that. <laughs> How's it going, LJ? I'm doing good. <laughs> Are you gonna bury these two? Should I take this off? No. Huh? No. No, that's fine. It degrades. Don't take that off. Not really sure what else we're doing. I think we're gonna go see the tortoises now or maybe do a hike through the mountains. But this is pretty cool. We don't really get to see the forest like this and this is only one percent of the original forest that was actually here in the Galapagos on this island. I mean there was a ton of deforestation from humans. It's private but giant tortoises that are living here in this area they don't belong to the farmers. Oh yeah Everyone. there are turtles everywhere. Tortoises, giant um, land tortoises. Giant land tortoises. Sorry naturalist Ella. All right see them all over right there. Like okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we are arriving to the restaurant El Manzanillo. It's getting as they get older, no? So, well, this one is over 20 years old. <laughs> a little bit older. Perhaps like an 80, 100. Yeah can safely say that I have enough clips for this vlog. We just got back to the ship, but if you guys enjoyed it, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Hello?